<laughs> okay, so tell me what's going to happen today. Any um, any uh, thoughts on Well, this? I think we'll be really happy if we go top five. And everyone has pretty specific goals and know what they're supposed to do. And I think that coming off of divisionals, we ran really well. And obviously, it's a major boost to have Jane that we did in that divisional. Um, but I think that gave everyone else a lot of confidence to run well and run with the competition and place well. Um, and we have three going for the top 15, which will be awesome. And I think they can all three get in. Um, and this weather is great. And I think they got lost on the way here. So that just makes it kind of a funny experience. And I think it's going to be awesome. And obviously, Jane's going to come away a state champ. And I think that's going to be great. Fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, divisional second place finish. Yes. You didn't have Jane. Right. Uh, Looks like some of the girls stepped up, had big races at divisionals, a little bit more momentum. What's your thought on kind of the momentum factor coming into this race? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of any girls athletics has a lot to do with confidence. And I think that's something that we have traditionally struggled with is confidence in racing. But I think that was just really, I mean, obviously I would have rather Jane run, but I think it was actually really confidence boosting for everyone else to see like, hey, we can take out our best girl and we can still perform well and everyone else can kind of make up the slack so i think like the balance of that and then having her come back in is just like feels really good feels really good yeah. okay awesome thanks awesome. jamie hey rotinskis how's it going <laughs> hey there's no rotinski in the race this year huh like taylor all right we'll have to wait till what's that yeah i know she's running for byu now so. jane's ready to go Getting ready to start. A lot of teams here just getting ready, doing their team cheers. We got about five minutes, five minutes until the start here. You got it. All right, Jay. Run. Good. Okay, the race is about starting. We've got the uh, starter up there. Uh, Isaac is here on joining from Mexico. Uh, on, he's in the Mexico MTC right now, just watching his sister race. Okay, we're just lined up. Beautiful day, about 53 degrees. Uh, you can just feel the energy over there, the starting line. I was just over there. Uh, just a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of just that nervous energy that comes with starting a big race like that. Uh, you know, the ideal conditions, ideal conditions today. And we're gonna see some magic happen today. Okay. Okay, gun is up. Hey, who's your team today? I said, Isaac, but I'll hear me. I've gotten the next. Yeah. I think you're next to this. Good luck. Here's the whistle, gun is up. And they're off. Okay. Off to a good start. If anybody trips here in this first 100 meters, they'll call them back. It looks like a clean start. Okay, we're 
going to do two laps here. Okay, lead pack coming around. We got a group of four girls. We have Jane, the Mountain View girls, Mari. And Mari looks like she's leading it right now. A good start. Pretty fast group coming out. Find that group, can we find it? Let's get moving. Let's get moving. Jane is way ahead. Nicole, Nicole, Looks like Timpy is doing really well. We've got off to a really good start. There's our runners right there, Let's three tippy runners. Go, go Hannah, where to go Claire, where to go Lise? And we had Daphne up ahead. There's Anya right there. Come on, Anya! Let's go, Sylvia! Off to a pretty conservative start with tippy girls there. That's actually pretty good looking at how uh, you know, optimal race strategy, starting off a little bit slower, picking it up as you go. Yeah, why is he? Come on, Kate! Jane is up there. All right, Jane, we got Julie, Jane. And Mari, there they are, front pack right here. Come on, Jane! There you go, Jane! There they go, they're looking comfortable. They got a huge lead now. Okay, they probably got about a 20 second lead on number five. Got a bunch of Springville Daphne's doing great right up there. Go, Ashlyn! Where'd you go, Ashlyn? Okay, coming around the corner here. In fact, Mari is pulled out in the front. Julie has dropped back just a little bit. They're at a good pace right now. Really fast. They're coming up on two miles here. We're gonna get their two mile split. Two mile split may be just a little bit long based on some of the races that we saw earlier. Come on, Jane! There they go. They are currently at 11.13, 11.13. That's gonna be a very fast two mile for the... Okay, right at 11.30, 11.32 miles. It might be just a bit long for the two mile. Go Reagan. Reagan. Good job, Daphne. Way to go, Daphne. Nice work. Way to go, Ellie. Ellie. Great race, Ellie. Good job, Ellie. Use your arm. Come on. Let's go, 
Okay, it's a shorter loop over here for the last lap. We'll have to keep our eye on the coming back. And then it's going to be finished, so we want to be on the other side of that thing when they come back so we don't get boxed out. Yeah. Go, Claire. Claire, you're having a great race, Claire. Good job, Claire. You're at two miles now. Two miles. Way to go, Lee. Two miles. Good right, job. Lee. You got one mile left. Okay, they're coming down. We got Mari and Jane neck and neck. Coming down probably with a little over a half mile to go. Uh, this is coming down to the end here. They're both looking pretty comfortable. Looking uh, like they both got something left. This is going to be an exciting kick, I think. You know, just uh, a little bit of a wind up right here toward the end. There she goes. She's making a move. Just surging out in front. Here it goes. Here's her state is going to be one right here. She's moving. She's going hard right now. Okay, they're moving now. Jane is going. She's got about five meters on her right now. Jane's throwing in a big surge. Jane is gone. Jane is up five meters. Five meters, ten, ten meters. She's, she's 15 meters up now. Uh, she's running away with this, Isaac. <laughs> Sorry, you can't see. Okay, Jane's going for it right now. She's got 15 meters on her. <laughs> oh, it's way down there, John. Let's go, Jake! Let's go, Jake! Come on, Jake! Come on, Jake! Okay, they're sprinting. Let's go, Jake! This is it. Let's go, Jake! Let's go! Come on, Jake! 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 Right now we are at 17.03, so she's probably going to finish low 17s. We're just going to catch her right here at the end. Okay, I'll just get her as she crosses. 17, 17.18, 17.19, 17.20, 21.22, 23.24, 25.17.24, 17.25. Okay, good race by Jane and Mari. Mari had a strong finish there at the end. Lydia's coming in, Orem. She's having a fantastic race here. She's also going to be, uh, let's see, pretty close to 18. So fantastic race for Lydia. We have our first Red Devil coming in. They're the defending state champions from Springville. They lost quite a few girls. So we'll see how they do today. We got Lehigh and Bonneville, we have Daphne coming in, our second tippy runner. So she's running really well today, super strong. Let's go, Caroline! We need to get uh, three of these tippy girls in the top 15, and there it is. We have Ellie right there with a big pack in front of her. Okay, Ellie! Ellie, go get these girls! Ellie, go get them! Go get them, Ellie! You got it, Ellie! Good job, Ellie! Two Mountain View girls right there. They're the favored to win today. See how they do on their final uh, score. Three Mountain View uh, with uh, the two others that already came in with Julie. Although I don't know if we've seen Julie yet. I don't remember if we've seen her coming through. Hope she's doing okay.
Here comes four and five right here. We got Claire and Lise finishing off. Former Roadrunner girls. Way to go, Lise. Way to go, Claire. Nice work. There they go. Finishing off the race. Fantastic finish. Gonna keep you probably a top four, maybe. Looks like they had a really good race there. Nice work, Hannah. Good job, Hannah. Okay, way to go, Anya. There goes number seven for Tim View. Anya coming in. Having a great race here. Way to go, Anya. Great race overall. Let's go catch our winners and we'll go get an interview. Just see what they're thinking, how the race went. Okay, guys, tell me how the cheering went today. Awesome! <laughs> yeah. Okay. What was the hardest part of the race for you? We brought our A game. When oh. I had to run to the finish line, I was sweating and pushing us so hard, hard <laughs> and I wet my pants. <laughs> the, the hardest part was the last quarter mile when I took Isaac with Jane across the finish line. Oh yeah, there you go. That's awesome. That was an exciting race. There's Jane's fan club right here helping her be speedy today. Okay, Jane's giving an interview right now. Hey, Lily. <laughs> hey Jane, let me get a good job, Jane. Okay, Jane, overall champion of the 5A state girls. Uh, tell me about the race. It looked like you had a pack of four out there right at the front. Uh, you, Mari, Julie, and let's see, the Orem, uh, Lydia, uh, all up there up front. Tell me about how it went out, what you guys went through on your first mile. Yeah, so we came through at about 530. It was kind of, it was really good. Um, I was just grateful to have people right alongside. It was, it was tough. The first quarter mile was really like blistering. It, it felt like that. And so I was like, okay, I just need to hold on. And then it slowed down quite a bit. So, so I just had a lot of confidence going into this race. Okay, great. So it looked like at about two miles, you and Mari started pulling away. Yes. Um, Mari was pushing the pace. Uh, tell me about what was going through your mind going through about two miles. 
So I was cheesing out of my mind. I was so happy to be to be out there. Um, and I was feeling great. Like I was feeling so so good. And so when we hit two miles, I was like, dude, I got this. Like this is light work. We can we can finish this today. And so I was just so happy. And that race went by so fast. Like literally, that felt like a mile race. So. No hills on this course, yeah. completely flat. Yes. Any wind today, or was it just like perfect conditions? Um, there was a little bit of wind, and that's a little why bit of wind. I was trying to stay right behind Mari. My draft was kind of weird though, because I wasn't, I didn't want to get spiked, so I was just kind of on her shoulder, kind of not. But, yeah. Yeah. I was just you guys were definitely not taking corners, you know. You guys were like taking them wide, and yeah. with a half mile left, it looked like you just changed gears. And I saw it go from zero meters to five meters, 10, 15, 20. You opened up a big gap, okay? Tell me what was that strategy? Was it a half mile left? What were you thinking right at the end there? Oh my gosh, so we went around a turn and I thought we had like the home stretch left, but then we had more and we had like another hole. I was like, oh shoot, because I started sprinting and, and we still had, it wasn't that long left. It was probably a quarter mile left, but, um, yeah, I just went for it, and I was like, okay, I really just have to separate myself. I thought she was right behind me, but I actually could open up a little bit left in the last little bit. But um, I, it was kind of making me, not worried, but just a little, I, I didn't know what she thinks because I was right on her, and she wasn't even, like, breathing. And so I was like, okay, if I make a move, will she go with me? And so I was kind of testing the waters a little bit um, for, like, point one before I made my move just trying to see if she would go with me. But then I finally I finally just went for it and kind of just full send and it was good. Yeah, it looked like you had a really strong last half mile. 1724, 1725, something like that right at the end. Uh, getting pretty close to the course record as well. So uh, about the same time as the 6A girls from this morning, right there, almost the exact same time. So um, anyway, do you feel like uh, next year coming in if it's here again what would you do differently next year yeah so um i think i would i would close with um a mile left or mile and a half left because i was feeling really strong um and i was a little nervous coming into today i just didn't know i just really didn't know what would happen and so that's why I waited so long. I looked at my watch at like 2.6. I was like, oh shoot, we're almost done. And so I was like, okay, I have to make my move soon. But it was just a little scary. Normally I don't have a hard time doing it, but um, I didn't know what to think today, but I'm okay. just glad it worked out okay. A little bit conservative this year, ready to tackle it next year too. Yeah. Okay, Ray, way to go Jane Hedinger, champion of the 5A State Utah State Girls. So Mari, great race today. You ha looked like you kind of led from the gun yeah, and I led did. two and a half miles of that race. Yeah. Um, That's went cool. through the first mile about 5:30 oh, yeah. or so. So, what was your plan coming into this race? Um, I mean, I know Jane's got legs, and so my plan was just to stick it out fast and hold it for as long as I could, and I feel like. I did pretty well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fantastic. You did yeah. great. Thank you so much. And it was a beautiful day, yeah. great temperature, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit rainy and cold this morning. Yeah. Uh, but it just turned out to be a beautiful. It was nice. Um, so tell me what was going through your mind, like maybe through two miles. Is you and Jane had separated yeah. from the pack. Lydia had dropped back. Mm -hmm. Julia dropped back yeah. a little bit. Uh, um, well, I think just like this week, me and my team have talked about no options. Like it's state, and you either you drop or you go. And so, just through the whole race, I was like, I got nothing to lose. I'm like, I got no options. My only, my only thing is forward, and so I focused on that and just kept going. That's right. Yeah. So it's like Cortez, burn the ships yeah, when you get yeah. to the Americas. There's no oh, turning yes. back. Mm -hmm. So that's great. You ran with a lot of guts today. Thank you. And Thank you. Uh, tell me, so with a half mile left, yeah. it looked like there was some separation that happened. Yeah. Uh, what was going through your mind at that point? Um, I was having, I mean, whenever someone passes you, it your brain does kind of freak out a little bit. So Jane kind of pulled the move and I was like, okay, I got to stick it to her for as long as I can. But once that gap kind of happened, I realized I had to find a gear within myself for me. And so I just kind of found that and just kind of went with that. 
Fantastic. Yeah. Well, you guys were a lot faster this year than last year. Yeah. I mean, a huge a step change. Yeah. And 17, about 1730. 38? Yes. I okay. Think so. Well, that's great. And Thank last you. year, you came into it a little bit under the weather. Yeah, sadly, this year too. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. So a little I, bit under the weather I this decided, year. I decided, I was like, I did this last year. I can do this this year. You so can do it again. I just went for it. But yeah. it was like almost a minute faster yeah. than last year. It's just, it shows you how important mindset is too. And I feel like I've handled my stress a lot better this mm -hmm. year than I ever have. Yeah. I mean, you guys are just, it's next level now yeah. in the competition. Thank you so much. And region eight, yeah. uh, 5A girls so is region, like, where it is i yes. mean pre-region is like the state meet yeah in a lot I of love, ways i love the competitiveness of it i feel like it makes us all a lot stronger mm -hmm. together so it's really fun well that's a lot yeah. of magic is happening here yeah. in utah county so yes. way to go thank good job so second place finisher yeah. and fantastic time thank you so much okay good job mari okay springville uh this is another state championship five Woo! years in a row Yay! i believe which is fantastic how did it go uh, coming out today? Tell me your, some of your thoughts about uh, today. We had an overall, overall feat of like overcome, which was just a good idea. And I think we really like, felt that during the race. We were a little, little setbacks. I think for some of us, um, finishing, I think many of us thought we had lost. Yeah. So to win was like, was yeah, awesome. Yeah, because we won, Fantastic. Well, you guys looked fantastic today. Just consistent going out there. I love that theme of yeah, state champions. So I love that theme of overcome. Uh, great. So tell me about some of the challenges coming in. What, uh, what's been some of the challenges this season and, and how'd you guys overcome those? Okay. Nice. Okay, things just kind of came together. All right, now tell me what's next. What are you guys doing next? Is it NXR? Yeah. NXR, and then potentially NXN as well, depending on how NXR goes as well. Okay, you guys gonna do running lane instead? Okay, fantastic. Okay, well congratulations to Springville State Champions for a fifth year in a row. boys it's just about to get started in a few minutes they're just on the starting line right now we got uh, five minutes till the kickoff of this race we have Orem, Mountain View uh, some of the top teams in the nation here they're going to be racing for the 5A Utah State Championships it's a beautiful day here at Rose Park in Salt Lake City and we're about to kick off the 5A boys they're just a minute or two away from the start we have Casey Necklehawk and Leah Henninger and a couple others Parker Barnes Jojo uh, they're all gonna be really competitive out there pushing the pace beautiful day flat course this is gonna be fast and they're off yeah the Kinty boys running they're in box 11. They got the fluorescent orange shorts.
out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was so exciting, yeah. Hey, good to see you. Okay. Okay, JoJo's leading it, as JoJo frequently does. A great way to start off the race. We got Orem uh, with four guys right up there, right at the start. We got some tippy guys right here. Three tippy guys off to a really good start. And there's it looks like there's go. two more Orem guys. Go, 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 go. Great contention. These guys are off to a great start. Go, Skyline. Good job, good job. Let's go, we go. Go, we go. Looking good. Okay, here they come out. Liam is taking it with Tayson. Liam is pushing the pace. And we got Parker right behind him. And is that JoJo? I'm trying to look. Uh, might be. Uh, no, we have. Okay, Ryan right there. Okay, there they go. JoJo is back up here. The top three are some new uniforms, a little harder to spot. Okay, we got uh, two more Mountain View boys right here. Mountain View's looking really strong with their top four. We got Aura and our fifth Mountain View as well right here. So Mountain View's looking really strong at this point in the race. We got Lehigh with uh, three Lehigh Pioneers right here and our first tip view. There we go, good job. Yeah, these guys are looking really strong. It is a fast pace here. Beautiful day. They are just blistering the pace here. It's getting tight on the pack running here. Just here. Where'd you go, Noah? Okay, Liam and Tayson, they are going at it right now. This is a super fast pace. They're coming up to two miles right now. They got about a minute left until they hit the two mile mark. Or 30 seconds left until they hit two miles. They are absolutely flying right now. They are at 922. 922. They're gonna hit 930 on that two mile, 445. 935, 936, 937. That's two mile right there. You can do this. Quick turnover. Go with the pole. Okay, it's 10 10 right now. So all these guys are going to hit about a, nine, a 10 20. They're hitting about 5 10 pace right here. So this pack by about 5 15 right here. But you got Luke. You got Luke. Okay. 447 pace for the leader. It looks like it's winding up between Kaysen and Liam as well. Liam beat Kaysen at the UIAA the UI, uh, meet earlier this year, just barely beat him. And uh, it's been winning the last couple races, but I think this one uh, it could be anybody's race here out today. Oh, looks like Kaysen's got it. He's put in a surge. He's about 10, 20 meters ahead. Liam's still driving. So they're still going after it. They had a blistering first two miles, 947 pace. But Tayson, we got Leah. Go get it, Leah.
Okay, we got Austin and Parker. We got a battle going here for third place. Austin's doing great. He's making a surge. Way to go. Nice work. All right, we got Parthia and Jojo. We got Jojo up there. Let's go grab the finish. Fourteen forty, fourteen forty one, forty two. He's gonna go sub fifteen. Fourteen fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty. Go now! So that was delicious. That Austin is gonna be fifteen oh eight, fifteen oh nine. Another mountain view. Runner coming through. Park City. Park City. It's Oran versus Mountain View. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, Isaac. Got it. I don't see Oran up there. Okay, fantastic run by Tayson Echohawk to win it. Sub 15, also Liam Henninger. And challenging race, they're just going at it the whole race. Echohawk had just a little bit more to pull away for the win. Didn't look like he had a lot left in the tank either, right at the end, but uh, definitely super strong race on this flat and fast course here. Hey Noah, good race man. How was it? Good. Yeah? Sam? How was it? State? That was awesome guys. Good job racing. How did the race go out? Fast. Really fast. What was your first mile? I don't know. You guys looked like you were cruising. Five minute? Okay. That's good. You guys went out pretty gutsy. Nice work. Austin, third place today. And you're just uh just a little bit above 15 minutes. So fantastic race, probably a PR there. Yeah. 
Uh, you looked like you went through two mile, right around 10 minutes or so, or a little bit under that. Tell me about the race overall, what happened? Well, the race, so uh, me and me and, Tick, me and Tayson have been talking a lot about race strategies and what state was going to look like throughout the season. We've been right up against Liam Henninger from Mountain View the whole time. And our goal was get out fast, make sure we get that inside, like the left place inside, make sure to be able to run the tangents and stay with Liam. If we could gain a little bit of space between us and Liam, then good for it. But if we had to stay with Tate and Liam, just work off of them and make sure I can stay with them as long as I can and maybe try to turn the gears at the end and finish strong. I mean, it's too bad Liam got a little bit of headway around two and a half and yeah. I mean, it was a great race, almost had him, but we'll take third place. Top, well, top the place. race would have been a half mile longer. It looked like you were catching Liam at the yeah, end. Yeah, he was falling off, and I, I looked up about 2.75 about two uh, in, and I saw him fading, and I was like, okay, now's the time to go. I know I'm hurting, but it's time to go. So I saw you with Parker about yeah. a half mile left, and that's where I saw you shift gears. Uh -huh. Like, you were kind of cruising, Parker was a little bit behind you, mm -hmm. And you knew it was going to be Mountain View or him. I mean, that's like the big rivalry there. Yes. Uh, what was it, kind of like the four of you up there, uh, what did it mean to you? Like, what was going through your head that last half mile? Um, nothing, nothing crazy. I knew that that was going to happen between the race. Parker would be up with Liam, the same thing that I'm doing with Taysen. I know that they're going to try to stay together, and me and Taysen try to stay together. And I know that he wanted to work with Liam. We both thought we both took it pretty surprising because Taysen said he was gonna start going he keep going up the line and with Liam but he shot out the gate and I knew Parker was gonna stay there and we were working each other through the race and like I said like where I saw Liam start to fade right where I was next to Parker that's when I said okay now I gotta shift gears and see if I can go get okay Liam Taysen they're both seniors this yes. year and you are a junior, yes. is that right? Yes, sir. So you're going to be the top returning guy coming back next year. What's your plan for that? You got track season and cross country. Yeah, my plan is to just do my best this cross country, this track season. See if I can stay up with them. If I can gain some more yards on Tayson, so be it. And come back next year and kill it again. Okay, nice work. Good racing today. Thank you. Okay, uh, tell me how the race went today. It was, I mean, it was a tough race. Me and Liam have been grinding out all season, so it's been the same thing today. Just pushing. I mean, it was a it was a heck of a race, man. Like the way that me and him have pushed each other all season is something I'll always remember and take into my life and future running, whatever that is. And it, it was a tough race, but a fun one for sure. Hey, it looked like 9:36 through two mile, uh, blistering pace. You guys were going back and forth. Um, what was going through your mind that last mile? Um, that last, the, about until I want to say 800, 1200 in, it was, it was really hard that last mile. He had a, he was, in, he was leading me, so I was just trying to stay on as long as I could. My, you know, I started to get a headache. My throat was acting up, but um, just fighting those mental games until about 800 to go. I tried to take the lead and put on a gap and push as hard as I could, and that's what I did. And luckily, I was able to bring out a win today. So. Oh. Hey, awesome. Looked really strong at the end. Sub 15, were you expecting that today? Um, I wasn't too worried about it. I knew it was going to be fast, but I was more just worried about winning today. So the time is it's a great time, but the win is a lot more important. Okay. Oh, well, good work. Good racing. Okay, yeah, these are our state champions right here. The um, top, top 10. Top 10 boys, class 5A. Girls top 10 for boys, 5A. Class 5A. So, Please fantastic come running. to the awards area. Beautiful day here in Rose Park. Uh, just fantastic. Got almost 55 degrees, sunny, uh, beautiful scenery here. A little bit of snow up in the mountains from a storm that came through earlier this week. So just a beautiful day here at the uh, Rose Park. Girls 5A Cross Country Championship. 10th <laughs> place finisher from Woods Cross, Katie Hansen. In ninth place, from Timpanogos, Molly Walton. In eighth place, from Brighton High School, Leabelle Sealander. 
seventh place finisher from Timview High School, Daphne Yosua. <laughs> Finishing in sixth place from Bonneville High School, Sienna Barton. Yes, Sienna! Fifth place from Springville High School, Sarah Galbraith. <laughs> Fourth place finisher from Lehigh, Grayson Lenenga. In third place with a time of 1822.3 from Oral High School, Lydia Buse. In second place with a time of 1737.6 from Mountain View, Mari Canole. and the champion medalist in the 2022 girls 5A classification with a time of 1725.4 from Timview High School, Jane Hindendress. <laughs> Jane Hindendress. All right, in between, we're going to do a little award for some coaches. Uh, this year's coach is Mike Strauss from Mountain View. Coaches Awards. He's doing a lot for the sport. Mike is fantastic. Mountain View coach. And the second recipient of our coaches award this year goes to Gary Galley from Uinta High. In tenth place from Mountain View High School, Kyle Stedman. Ninth place finisher from Bountiful High School, Andrew Jensen. Yeah. Finishing eighth from Mountain View High School, Parker Barnes. Yeah. Seventh grade, fin seventh place finisher from Humont High School, Gabe Hooper. Yeah. from Park City High, Chris Henry. In fifth place, from Northridge High School, Will Luoma. Finishing fourth, from Olympus, Jojo Jordan. In third place, with a time of 1511.2, from Orem High School, Austin Westfall. In second place, with a time of 1505.2, from Mountain View, Liam Henninger. The 2022 Boys 5A Cross Country Medalist with a time of 1453.7 from Oral High School, Payson Echo High. Payson Echo High.
For this year's state championship, 10th place, Skyline High School. Come on, you 22 girls, 5A cross country champions with a score of 78, the Springville Red Devils. <laughs> score of 104 points, Orem High School. <laughs> the 2022 boys 5A cross country champion with a score of 48 the Mountain View Bruins! Hey Susan, get a picture, of, uh, get a video of there with Jane, okay? Okay, there's Susan and Jane, sisters. Susan, tell me about your last race you did. <laughs> Mile race, you're gonna try to beat Jane's records later? Yeah, all right, there we go, Susan coming up. 